Hey guys, welcome back to another live video. So as you can tell by the title, we're talking about this card again. I know we already did a video on it with comparing it to Cowboy, but once again, we're going to be looking at this card. So we are looking at... Heartland Draco, number 82. Not again. And we went over its effect and everything, and now apparently my friend Ryan here went to the Arizona Regional, and he had got a ruling about this card that, you know, didn't seem right. It seemed kind of fishy, so we're going to talk about it. It did not make any sense to me whatsoever. ever. It, I had this on the field. I was versing Gravekeepers. I had field, I had a, a Tenki and a Kaiser Coliseum on the field. Made him, and I swung directly, got my thing in. On his turn... He attacked me, and I said, "You can't attack. You can't attack it." And he's like, "I can't. I'm not attacking him. I'm attacking you directly." And I'm like, "Wait, how?" And he's like, "Well, in the rulings on Heartland Draco, which we actually just looked, and there is nothing on this." Nope. Just Google searched it. Yup. There, he was able. He uh, said he could attack me directly, so I called a judge over, and the judge ruled on his favor because, well, and he said, since you can't attack, since he technically can't target this for an attack, he can target you for an attack. And I looked at him like. Really? What? Where in the mechanics does that say that? Like, that breaks in a whole game rule. Exactly. Because like, you have to get through the monster before you... Get for a direct attack. It's not yeah. stated otherwise, because I believe there's a trap card that says you can you can take the damage. My body... No, it's not my No, that's... My body's a shield. My body's a shield. Uh, you take... You pay 1,500 life points. What's, what's the card? you save the monster. I don't know what the... I forgot what the card is. Well, you guys in the probably know. You look it up. But there's like maybe a trap card where you take the direct damage instead of your monsters being attacked. Spirit but... Berry. Spirit Berry? Is that what it's called? I think so. Oh, okay. Thank you. So, I mean, this doesn't sound right, you know? Game mechanic-wise, get through the monsters, then get the direct attack. So, you know, we were, of course, we decide on how things are ruled by set precedents. So, of course, there have cards been previously where you can't declare an attack on them and what happens when you deal with them. And the card that we clearly have been looking at is, yes, an Earthbound Immortal. Of course, these guys cannot be attacked. And clearly, when you duel against an Earthbound Immortal, you don't get to just jump over the Earthbound Immortal and hit them directly. They're hitting you directly, but you don't get to hit them directly. So, clearly, this card has set, has set precedence over this card. So, therefore, Heartland Draco shouldn't be worded like that. And that's, that shouldn't be a, a ruling like that. Because, clearly, if we knew that Heartland Draco worked like that, where they could attack you directly, no one would be playing no this card. One. I wouldn't even have taken I wouldn't even, regionals. No. I had another option, and I just kept Heartland, because he did a lot of work at YCS, and nothing happened at YCS. I go to Mesa, Arizona, and I got that ruling. I didn't even want to make him after that. I'm like, that's just bull. No, I, I haven't heard of it. And, clearly, that... You know, we have examples of this on my channel where I pull this off and nothing happens, all right? There's, I believe, what deck was I using? Well, I was using Blue Jeans, wasn't I? Well, I went against that Light Swan guy. Yeah, I was using Blue Jeans. I think it, I can't remember the specific episode of Daily Duels. Oh my god, there's so many. But I made a Heartland Draco and he was using that aggressive ass Light Swan deck and I pretty much stalled him out and he, you, he had an Aaron on the field and I had him and he tried to turn into attack mode, go into battle phase and attack me, but he couldn't. And, you know, it didn't say attack directly or anything along those lines, and that's on DevPro. Yeah, and DevPro does, is pretty much the built-in rulings, and they, they make sure that stuff's right. Exactly. So, sir, I'm sorry, I think you got cheated. I, yeah, I think I got I definitely got cheated. I still won the match. Don't get me wrong. I, he didn't get any wins on me on that one. It's just that right there, that just told me how much, that tells you how much the judges really only know so much. You know, you can tell some are hired, some are just there, and some are just fillers. Because I had another, because I heard other people asking questions. Because there's a, there was a judge that allowed a scrap player playing an entire deck of foreigns, but did not have any translations on him and allowed him to play. No, he and, be allowed to play. and and I I went up to the head judge and I'm like, what is this? What is this guy smoking? When because our teammate versed him and he lost because he couldn't read any of the cards. Wow, that's He told crap. him to go in his phone, in his own phone, to look for it. And I'm like, you can't sit there and look up 50 different cards just to play the game. That would take the whole damn time and plus. Mm -hmm. so. so, and yeah, he he got he eventually the head judge uh, got rid of him like four games in, which is a little late. Yeah, but, and the losses are already lost. Yeah, but this this right here made absolutely no sense. So tell me what you guys think. Uh, if you guys, you know, want to have a debate about this, or you guys just want to be like, yeah, Heartland Draco, you can't attack directly. Because there is no rulings on this, and, you know, that's just not how the game works, you know? 
This is plenty of cards where you can't uh, declare an attack, and it, it just doesn't go to a direct attack. It doesn't work like that. So tell me what you guys think in the comment section below. Hope you guys enjoyed this live video. Thanks for watching, and I will see you guys next time with another live video. Thanks for watching.